Hey, peace, power, and protection. Welcome to Claire Audient Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping into the channel. Today we are going to focus into some of the hidden energies. We have a full moon coming up on Friday. That's actually um, Archangel Michael's feast day as well as that Aries full moon. So it's a beautiful time to really tap into your creativity. You should start feeling a surge of creative energy, artistic energy right now. Um, very, very powerful time to start creating and manifesting, uh, mastering your crafts. So I would behoove you to utilize this energy. I want to welcome anyone that may be new to the channel. As I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So the way things work on my side of the planet is the uh, I play music and the name of the artist lyrics within the song, um, the timestamp on the clock. Uh, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all just been blends uh, very beautifully. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything. Uh, check your natal chart, see what other placements you may have, and look up those readings to correspond with what you may be um, feeling. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video has found you or whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloved. Uh, so as I said today, we are going to kind of tap in to see the energy that might be lingering, what's hidden. So I will be utilizing Dark Grimoire along with the Witch's Wisdom deck today. Um, I may also use the Moonology just to pay homage to that full moon energy that we are entering into. Um, I will every single one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing. I send infinite love and light to all of those who are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love to anyone that may be new. I will that my messages resonate. I will that the way that I read resonates with you um, and that it does so much so that you stick around, that you hit that like button. This is definitely a reciprocal uh, energy here. So in order for me to continue to provide you the readings, um, I do need you to, you know, hit the like button, subscribe button. Um, you should all know how it works here on YouTube. So with all of that said, we're going to go ahead and delve right into the reading. Uh, before we proceed with the read, I will like to do some house cleaning. Ashe. So let's go ahead and do that. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo. So we have on the clock, it is currently 620. So 620 breaks down to 8. So I'm hearing that you all are very strong. I'm hearing that you all have have been very strong, you've been braving your light, you've been really pushing through some really difficult times, navigating some difficult terrain, and it's like your your strength is exhibited, it's being, it's being acknowledged, it's being recognized. For some of you all, you have dealt with uh, some karmic energy in your past, and you have really taken your power back. You're owning your power now, which is very beautiful. Um, what we have playing right now in the playlist is we have um, Most Deaf. The name of the song is called The Panties. And if you see, he's kind of dressed like a bandit almost um, on that picture. So it could be like, you know, maybe you dealt with someone who you felt um, kind of took you for granted, took your kindness for weakness, used you even. Uh, maybe you dealt with someone who was um, a habitual liar or a habitual cheater, someone who was non-committal. Um, with the panties, maybe some of you ladies felt like you gave up, um, you know, you kind of gave up your... Um, your 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 temple to someone who wasn't deserving 
Um, but I feel like, you know, now there's the sense of you kind of recovering, you recovering from that. That was a lesson. That was a lesson for you to, you know, to maintain boundaries with individuals, to not just allow yourselves to feed into lust and temptation. And, um, you know, you could have been dealing with an incubus or succubus type of energy. Um, if you're masculine as well, you could have dealt with someone who used sex as a weapon. Um, with the panties, maybe that you're dealing with someone now that's trying to get into your panties. So you need to exhibit and display strength, know your worth. Everyone does not deserve you, especially if they're not committed to you. Um, people don't realize that that sex, the game, you know, that people play with sex, uh, is, is really a dangerous one. Cause once you let that devil in that, that, uh, Satan in, it's like, it can really manipulate and monopolize, um, your life, your situation. It, it can really take control. So be mindful of that. Um, so you may have an incubus succubus type of energy, someone who may try to use lust, uh, someone that may try to tempt you is what I'm getting, especially with that pen, uh, panties. Uh, someone could be from Brooklyn, New York. Someone could be of um, Muslim um, um, background, may have a Muslim background because uh, most def is uh, Muslim. It goes by the name Yasin Bey now. So let's tap in. Where did the deck go? The deck fell. So let's pull it up. All right. So we have here, look at that. I love it. So you are protected. So everything that I was picking up on, um, especially with that, um, I was just picking up like a, a sexual deviant, you know, to be honest. And I feel like spirit is saying, you know, not only should you create a circle of protection, um, but also that you are protected. Uh, so definitely know that you are protected from someone, uh, spirit sees what you are dealing with. I feel like there's someone who's really has their eye on you in terms of trying to influence you or, um, trying to take you off your square, you know, but you do have to create a, a protective, uh, circle around you. So you may need to do some, um, you know, say certain prayers, over yourself, like you could say Psalm 59, that's really good uh, for your enemy, Psalm, um, any of the Psalms really, uh, Psalms 59 is really powerful. Um, you could also wear like protective ambulance, protective oils, like take spiritual baths, um, call on your angels. You can call on your angels from each cardinal direction. That's another powerful way to uh, have, you know, that circle of protection as well. Uh, but definitely spirit is also saying that you are protected, you're covered. Uh, so if there is someone that's kind of like, you know, plotting on you, you're definitely protected. So look at that. We have secret and this is book of shadows. So this is what magicians this is what they use. They go into their book of shadows to concoct some sort of ritual or to do some sort of initiation. So it looks like you do have someone secretly uh, plotting against you and spirit is saying you are absolutely protected. So, you know, not only are you protected, but as I said, you have to continue to maintain your protection. Um, but with this book of shadows, this is someone that is around you. I feel someone that you may not even realize um, that is, you know, doing some sort of spiritual, like some spells or someone could be doing some sort of magic spell. Someone could be trying to manipulate your energy. Someone could be really, you know, even doing like domination spells or love spells or something to that degree. Um, and they're definitely utilizing this moon. You can see the shadow here. So this says scrying mirror and it says um, uh, shadow. And then you have the moon. So the moon also deals with what's in the shadows, what's hidden. And this is someone, it could be three people because there are three energies here that are uh, kind of like looking at the moon, scrying perhaps. But there is definitely some intention. And if you look in that mirror, there is someone there kind of watching. So you do have someone that's watching you. They could be using mirror magic as well in addition to any spells that they may be concocting from their book of shadows, they're also doing mirror magic. So if you have mirrors in your home or in your bedroom where you rest, it will behoove you to cover those mirrors, to cleanse and smudge your mirrors in your home as well. Um, because there's definitely someone who is, uh, kind of like using that energy, um, to manipulate your energy. And we have Mary J. Blige, love, no limit. 
So with love, no limit, that means like this, this, whoever this is, this could be someone who could be like obsessed or possessive. Um, this could be a very possessive person. Someone's name could be Mary. Someone could have a J or the last name Blige, first, middle, or last, M, J, B, Mary, J. Um, someone could also be from New York, Yonkers. With what's the 411, someone could also be trying to get some information from you because that is the name of the album, what's the 411. Someone could also have been born April 11th. This is Aries energy. So with what's the 411, some, I'm hearing what's the T, someone could be getting information. So someone could be going to like a practitioner to do love spells, domination spells, to get some sort of information about you or about, you know, uh, this situation. But I get obsession, I get possession, I get someone that is definitely um, manipulative. So let's tap in, let's see what we got coming and going, going on. What's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. We're going to cut the deck. Thank you. My nose is already tingling. And for those of you that have been tuning in for a while, you know, whenever my nose gets to tingling, that means, like, I feel like spirit is saying I'm right on the nose. So something very powerful is going to come to light in this reading. So you will be amazed. So let's tap in. So what we have here is pentacle and it says respect. So what I'm getting from this, you know, because there are five pentacles, um, five candles rather, um, that are lit and this says respect. So I do feel a sense of like, you have garnered the respect of your angels and your guides, because I feel whatever you have been doing, you have maintained that sense of righteousness. You've done things the righteous way, the just way. And so that means that there's been some respect that you've been able to garner on your journey. Um, I was picking up your strength earlier with that number eight. Uh, so I was getting sense of like you coming out of some karmic cycles and because you've taken your power back in some situation, it's garnered you uh, this respect. You're going to receive rewards. Perhaps that could be a reason why there's this energy of perhaps jealousy, envy, or someone trying to monopolize or manipulate a situation. Um, I see that you also have been uh, utilizing your power, setting intention, tapping into your alchemical force as well. You could have been, you know, lighting your own protective candles and maintaining that circle of protection as you could see here that uh, that uh, pentagram there uh, displays you know you being in the know knowing how to protect yourself knowing some esoteric or occult um, you know practices to protect yourself because we saw that protection card so that's a very energy powerful energy you know with this respect here uh, you're maintaining your respect maintaining your boundaries um, and you're definitely not playing with anyone. Five is a number that is associated with the Hierophant. So I do feel like there has been this, this um, ability to obtain uh, very uh, powerful knowledge, occult knowledge. And now you're utilizing what you've learned. So you could have been, you know, going through some sort of studentship. Um, you could have been really like gathering information, sitting at the feet of elders, uh, you know, speaking to master teachers, pastors, preachers. Uh, maybe you've been doing your own research. Maybe you've been doing your own investigation. But this shows that you have absolutely uh, taken responsibility um, of your own knowledge, of your own wealth of knowledge. And you are utilizing whatever it is that you've been able to obtain and it is definitely garnering you the respect of, you know, those who, um, you know, of your, your, your guides, your angels. Uh, what we have playing right here is we have, um, who is this? We have um, the book of David and the name of this is called Chills. So this is Dave East. Someone could be from uh, Harlem. Someone's name could be Dave. Um, but with chills, I feel like with that chills, I'm getting like cold. I'm getting a sense of someone like, you know, being very cold towards you or someone having this smug, 
type of energy towards you. What did I say about someone doing some sort of, um, you know, going to a practitioner or going to someone to get, you know, information or to try to manipulate your energy? We have tarot cards here. This also could speak to you being here now, um, you know, just kind of picking up on the energy that you are dealing with, what's in your surroundings. Um, all of the, the cards that are showcased on this deck are actually from this deck so i see the watchtower from the winter what is that um so that's like someone's watching you we see boundaries here we see foundation we see the ace of cups uh we see the cauldron card we see the ace of staffs uh we see the clearing card um we also see what is that rebirth and i see the guidance card all showcased on here so there's definitely someone who could be trying to uh get like a leg up on a situation trying to figure out perhaps how to uh you know how to have some sort of fresh start because that ace of staffs is like a new beginning um that staff is also an instrument that the magician the magi uses uh to manifest so someone could be manifesting or trying to manipulate the energy as i was saying i was getting domination spells especially when we saw the book of shadows that is also that recipe book for magical spells to be cast so there is someone going to some sort of practitioner uh we are about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you so who are you, or what you're attracting to you is someone that um, I feel not only am I picking up in this energy um, through this reading, but someone who's also going to someone to get a reading perhaps on you. So let's tap in. So um, as I said, with chills, um, I do feel like, you know, there, there's some because uh, chills is like cold chills is also a way uh that you will know that like angels are around you you may get those goosebumps you may have that chill um that's that's when you know there's a presence around you um and you'll know if it's malevolent or benevolent uh, so just be mindful to pay attention to that. Some of you may be, um, you know, maybe you were under the weather. Uh, as I've shared, I'm just recovering from COVID. And one of the symptoms I had was I had these, um, I had feverish chills. So it was like I was freezing, even though it was hot. And I was like literally shivering. So I don't know if some of you are under the weather. Um but definitely sweat it out. Uh, if you are feeling those chills, you know, sweat it out is what I'm hearing. But I'm also getting a sense that like that could also be an indication that there is some some presence around you. Um, and, you know, it, you will know if it's malevolent or benevolent, um, if it's good or bad. So, you know, you have to trust your intuition, your instinct. So what flew out is we have the moon uh, cycles here. So pay attention to the rhythms and the cycles of your body. Um, you know, the, the moon card is associated with Cancerian energy. That's a fellow water sign. But I also feel this is speaking in relation to something manifesting during this full moon. Um, it's going to give you chills is what I'm hearing. It's going to make you so excited. It's going to make you so happy. Like it's almost going to be like it's it's some sort of miracle. Um, it's something that like it's like you're expecting it, but you didn't expect it in this way. Um, with cycles, there is someone hidden. Um, we have Denise Williams and this is called, it's going to take a miracle. So like I said, something very, um, unexpected could be taking place, you know, during this full moon. This is something I feel like you've manifested because I could see like this person kind of like, you know, he's dressing this candle in the back and we see the respect here. So, you know, when you have respect from your guides, universe source, when you're favored, that means that there's something positive that's coming in. And with these this cycles here, I feel like it's because you've wrapped up a cycle and now this blessing could come in with it's going to take a miracle. You could be dealing with someone named Denise or Williams, first, middle or last, or someone with DW. I heard DW. Maybe someone goes by that name. I know there used to be a cartoon um, DW. Maybe someone dealt with someone or had a little a younger sibling DW. I don't know why, and, and I'm I'm hearing the theme song to that, and I can't remember the name of it. Oh, hey, it's a wonderful kind of day. We get to learn to laugh and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the... I don't know why that song <laughs> is in my head, but it's like, that. I can't remember. I think it was called Arthur. So I don't know if some of you were dealing with someone named Arthur. 
but the name of that, I believe the name of that cartoon that I was just singing, because with DW, I think he had like a younger sibling named DW. Um, and that theme song was just playing in my head for some reason. So someone could have been dealing with someone named Arthur. Someone has a younger sibling named DW. Someone could be dealing with someone named DW. But um, what I'm seeing here is protected. So you're definitely protected, beloved. And I'm hearing protect yourself as well. Um, with the cycles, I do feel that there's something hidden, you know. So with this, this energy, the moon, this is what's hidden. You know, so there could be someone with hidden agenda, hidden motives. Someone could be showing you something that they want you to see. But deep down, there is some, you know, some unresolved uh, emotion, something that you may not be uh, privy to. So you have to, you know, stay protected. You know, um, this is about maintaining your defense mechanism, maintaining your um, protection, um, not just letting anybody in. Because remember, we have it's going to take a miracle um, by Denise Williams playing. So I feel like, you know, it's going to take a miracle perhaps for this person to um, defeat you in whatever it is they're trying to accomplish. And the miracle could be if you just like kind of just like, you know, just not protect yourself at all almost is like what I'm getting. I, I, that's just what I'm picking up. But let's see. So how does this person or thing feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. Thank you. And we got magic here. Can't make this up. There's definitely a lot of magic going on. Someone feels like you are the one. See this? You got the Ace of Cups and you have fertility here. This is like a union. This is like a flame. You can see that flame there that's burning. So that's someone that's desiring you. And we have incubation here. So there's definitely a sense of like, you know, some disconnect. There's no communication. There's no connection. There's no, you know, there's no interaction with this person. There could be distance. You could see that you're like in this incubation status. So this is like, you know, and, and this is a very mature energy. It's not like it's a child. So this shows like someone's going through like almost like, you know, um, it's like they're being born again. It's like they're being um, strengthened. It's like they're growing through some sort of pain. And another deck, Astara, is the divine feminine. So whether you're a masculine or feminine energy, it's like you are growing through some sort of, um, you know, process where you've had to kind of be in isolation, where you had to relearn again. And it's like what this is showing someone is like whatever, you know, time apart from whomever. It's like this is what they're realizing with that ace of chalice and this fertility, these two individuals coming together. It's like someone may see you as someone who's like very well balanced now. It's like you've taken the necessary time to heal, to grow, you know, to nurture yourself, to kind of ground yourself. Because this is really what grounding is, you know, releasing and letting go of, you know, any toxicity, whether it's behaviors, habits, belief systems, ideologies, and healing and growing, you know, planting yourself in that earth gives you, you know, the strength, gives you that, that endurance again. And then you awaken someone that is, you know, in harmony. Um, this also awakens the love, you know, the intensity in another person. Um, this also shows the healing that you've done because this Ace of Chalice is really also speaking to, you know, um, you know, the healing that you've done on yourself. You're very psychic. You're very in tune, very connected. You already know because I feel like in a, a part of you has manifested what you what you are getting, you know. Maybe you're the one manifesting all of this. Maybe you're the alchemist. Maybe you're the one setting your intention speaking and calling in what you desire and it's like with this magic the candles some of you can be doing candle magic you know and and you're very wise enough to know like when the flame is flickering jumping bouncing hissing it's like you know the meanings or you could be learning the meanings of the candles the colors of the candles and what you're manifesting it's like you could be that skilled we have steel pulse and this is called your house so I feel like some of you all with steel pulse, you know, that's um, definitely giving me a sense of like, you know, there could be a sense of like, you know, maybe you feel that there's the coldness because I, when I think of steel, I just it, I feel it's, it's, it's cold to the touch. But when I think of pulse, that's what's that's like the heartbeat of the house. So perhaps with steel pulse, you know, there's like this sense of like, um, you know, maybe there is no. Um, no partnership, no union. We're pulling what's hidden. 
So maybe what's hidden is that some of you all could be calling in, manifesting, or attracting, whether you realize it or not, um, love. Maybe someone is manifesting you and you don't realize it. But how someone sees you is they feel like you are definitely um, isolated, that you you know, are kind of like in your own bubble. You know, this is almost, you know, given a sense of like someone who's um, really been taking the time to just kind of heal and, and, and strengthen themselves, you know, with that incubation, that's like, you know, that's what you, you're in that incubation before you are, you know, before the birth, you know, so something that you've been working on, it's like you're about to emerge, you know, be reborn as someone stronger, someone that is in harmony, you know, someone attractive as well, you know, because someone definitely sees you as like yin yang, twin flame, yang to the yin. You know, someone who could, you know, kind of like build and cultivate a connection. I feel you will be emotionally fulfilled. I feel you're also emotionally intelligent. You know, there's a sense of spiritual intelligence as well. Like you're very psychic, very in tune, very connected. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpio? What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. The candles are still in the bottom of the deck. So there is someone doing some magic spells. That is without a doubt. There goes the staff that I was speaking of. So, so far, the staff, the chalice both came out. Um, remember when we showed the um, tarot card guidance card? This was one of the cards that showed up. So there's a new beginning. This is a new beginning. I definitely feel that you've manifested. This foundation card was also on that guidance card. Homeland foundation. Someone's very attracted to you. They feel like you're the home, the hearth. We have the healer card. So you have become a healer. Every great healer had to first heal themselves. So whatever you've experienced in your life, whatever you've done, it's like you've influenced someone else to take the necessary steps to heal, to grow, to nurture. But I feel like you have been assured some fresh start because of, you know, the fact that you've been working on yourself. For many of you, there is distance between you and whomever it is um, that you have. Um, I feel someone's trying to manifest you, you know, either manifesting you or this is someone that's coming into your life with this homeland. This could be someone that you already know, someone that you've already planted seeds and roots with. But I do get a sense of like there being some travel necessary to come into union or partnership with someone like this distance. You know, I just get distance with this card, you know, with this map. There's a physical map there. So maybe this is someone that you grew up with. Maybe this is someone that you are at a distance. There could be distance, you know, physical, emotional, you know, spiritual. Maybe someone is healing, you know, from this distance. And what we have playing right now is we have uh, Beauty in the Dark. And this is by, again, Most Deaf. So Beauty in the Dark. So, yeah. So that's what this is. It's like, you know, because when you're in that incubation status, that's like when you're just kind of like, you know, you, you, you're, you've buried yourself, um, you know, to be able to you know, to really grow, you know, when you think of a seed, that seed grows in the dark, you know, the seed grows and becomes stronger. It blossoms in the dark. When you think of the lotus flower, it grows through, you know, different elements, you know, water, the earth, the air, you know, so it's a very powerful um, process, you know, that of, of growth and blossoming. And that's how someone I feel sees you. It's like with beauty in the dark, it's like your darkest periods or your dark night of the soul journey, that shadow work that you've been doing has aided in you being blossomed, um, blossoming, I should say, into, um, this very, you know, uh, beautiful and, and, and handsome and strong and powerful version of yourself. Um, with this fertility, there's definitely a sense of like, you know, as I said, you, you, you birthing a new version of yourself or birthing new ideas or emerging someone completely different. And this, this just brings fulfillment emotionally, mentally, this could feel like a wish fulfillment. Um, perhaps that's just what you're getting. That's why this respect is here. Because I do feel like you will be, you know, garnered um, 
you will be garnered rewards, recognition, and others are seeing that. And this is why what's hidden is this staff, this new journey, uh, this new voyage, this passion here, this passion, this desire. Someone feels like you're the home, you're the hearth. Someone wants to build, you know, establish a new solid foundation. Um, you have a very healing and nurturing quality. Um, there's a message also. I feel someone's been watching you also from a distance. I get a sense. Whoever that was that was seeking guidance, um, you know, from the tarot cards, going to a practitioner, I feel like you have someone that has definitely been trying to manifest you. And we have Wiccan Reed, and this says Ethos. So whatever magic spells, remember we were seeing that earlier. So if someone is doing magic spells, they're being reminded to stay within the bylaws. Uh, when you start taking away people's free liberty, when you start doing, you know, teetering on that black magic and coming out of the white magic side of things, um, you know, there's going to be karma to pay. So it's like you have to maintain um, the laws. You got to, like I said earlier, it's about being righteous and just in your actions. Uh, so you cannot take away anyone's free liberty uh, when you are doing magic, you know. Um, so what we have here is Autumn Watchtower of the West. Someone could be from the West Coast. But there's definitely someone watching. If you look up in that window up at the tower, it looks like that. That always reminds me of someone there watching. So you do have someone watching. I do get a sense of something is transpiring, um, you know, during the autumn season. This is our season. And what I'm seeing is um, I'm getting a sense of someone is coming. Someone is finally going to um, express something. I feel something is, is going to be expressed or something's going to come to light. See, look at this. I can't make this up. What did I say about someone doing magic spells? And this is why spirit is saying, you know, with this Wiccan read, because this is the bylaws. You have to maintain that. What did I say? Setting intention. What did I talk? I said about the, the wand. That wand is an instrument for magic. Someone is setting intentions, doing magic spells. What did I say? Ritual. See that? Someone's doing rituals. Someone's doing spells. This is what we have on the bottom of the deck. And we've just pulled the outcome card. So someone could be watching you and casting these spells. And spirit is reminding them that you cannot. If this is your energy, you already know. Just flip it. You already know what the situation is. But the spirit is reminding you stay within the bylaws. Stay within those, um, within the, um, the read, you know. Because this is called the uh, Wiccan Reed. So you have to stay within that to, to not have karma to pay for. And then it says uh, spirit, initiation. So some of you all are definitely um, anointed and initiated. That's why you had that protected, um, you know, that protection card show up in the very beginning of the reading. I feel that's also why you have this respect here. It's like maintaining the integrity of the work that you're doing is what spirit is also saying. But I feel like you may have someone who could be trying to influence something, you know, trying to block something here. And, and there goes that mirror there. And right before that is the candle. So someone could be trying to manipulate your energy or someone is trying to block something from coming in for you. It, it, that, that's just what I'm getting because I get, you know, with this manipulation here. And it's, it's like how someone sees you is, you know, maybe someone that you are attracting may have another energy um, that is kind of... Uh, investigating their energy and they could see that you and this person are coming into alignment and maybe they're trying to um, block that there's another thing that's coming to me is another way that it could be coming but let's clarify these messages I just saw three 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 and that's three six nine twelve three times four is twelve so that twelve is the hangman so this is about someone who is kind of observing and looking at things from a different perspective. Someone's being forced to observe something from a different perspective. And maybe this is why someone is now seeing you as, you know, the yin to the yang, the empress, because that 12 breaks down to three, you know. And maybe this is another reason why uh, this, you know, fulfillment card is here. Because now they realize that, you know, maybe there's love there that they once didn't um, admit to, perhaps. We have Rakim, the mystery, who is God. 
So you are a mystery to this person. I feel like you're also someone that is not like an open book. Um, you're very unique. You're very um, mysterious is what I'm getting. Um, and also just, you know, what you may practice, your spirituality is also a mystery uh, because you're not your modern day Christian or whatever. It's like, you know, you, you're just a very different, um, the way that you practice spirituality could be different from what this person is used to. Um, but I do feel like this person feels that you're very mysterious, very unique. What we have on the split is we have, look at that. That's beautiful. You have the star and the empress. So this is how they see you. Um, and if you look, this empress has a lot of people just talking, you know, you see all these mouths just opened and just gossipy. I just get gossip. Um, but you see here, this is, this is the energy of a divine feminine, um, really focused on honing and mastering your own craft, healing and grounding yourself, protecting yourself. That's what's garnered you the respect. That's why that respect, respect card came out because the star is definitely, um, you know, a very powerful energy. She turned her pains, her vulnerabilities into superpowers. Uh, she's also very wise in manifesting and, uh, you know, honing in on that sorcery energy. She can, you know, tap into her alchemical force and manifest her desires. She's very wise enough to know uh, the power she possesses or he possesses. And with this empress here, like I said, very, very attractive. You know, the empress is uh, very nurturing, very powerful, very loving. She's very strong. She's a master manifester. She's very attractive. Um, she's a creative. She creates and births new ideas, new ways of thinking. She's just a very phenomenal energy. Even if this is a masculine energy, it's like that energy is something that really draws a lot of attention, draws a lot of attraction. Uh, I just want to make sure I got this card, these cards right. So, okay, this has to go because <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. All right, there we go. So that's what this respect is all about. You've garnered a lot of respect for people who are watching you. So let's clarify these messages. Someone could be from Long Island. I'm hearing wine dance, Long Island. That's where Rakim is from wine dance it's like a little tiny town in um new york long island and that's where the god mc rakim is from the mystery so someone is very intrigued by these scorpios so i'm getting one more shuffle and then we're gonna and look at that that empress is still there so very strong very resilient you've reached that level of self-mastery even if you're masculine you are definitely someone that is, um, you know, seen as, um, you know, like a healer, a shaman, a light worker, you know, very domestic, very powerful. You could be a business uh, mogul. You could be someone who runs your household, you know, like you're just very stable, self-sufficient, independent. It's just very beautiful. And that's why you have like people watching. That's why you have someone admiring you. I feel like during this month, you know, during your season, Scorpio season, even Libra season, perhaps, um, you will, you know, have someone come through and approach you and address you. So we have the six of cups here. And if you look there, she's just kind of like reminiscing. And um, this is definitely an energy of someone you're familiar with. This is someone that you know. I was picking up on that energy of like, you know, Whomever you are, you know, dealing with that could have been a, like a karmic or someone you've met in your past life. Even, you know, if you look, there's a tower. She's looking off, you know, in the distance and there is a tower there. And then there's also all of these clouds of smoke. Um, these could just be clouds and, and the clouds are all surrounding uh, this tower. So I do feel like there was a lot of smoke and mirrors. There was a lot of lies, a lot of trickery, maybe illusions, delusions. Um, but someone is sitting here almost like, you know, kind of regretting some of these things, you know, um, the six of cups is kind of like, you know, the way it's depicted here is like someone is just kind of like daydreaming, thinking of a situation, thinking of how things played out and, you know, wishing for a positive outcome. Uh, what they're also realizing, you know, is, you know, this respect 
um, that they have for someone is like they have all of this respect for someone that they could have taken for granted because before you get to the six of cups you have the five of cups and the five of cups is you know really an energy of someone who's um, remorseful you know for the way that they may have behaved in the past and I feel like someone is now looking at you with respect admiration um, what we have in the bottom of the deck is we have, is we have the knight of wands I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, pardon me. Um, and so this Knight of Swords, if you look on this card, it's like this person has cut their own head off and he's waving this sword around and it's upright, which means that there's communication um, that this person wants to be had. But if you look, it's like he's cut his own head off just waving the sword so you know the tongue is it could be a weapon so perhaps maybe in the past someone has said things that they regret um this is something that they may have hid from you um you know maybe there were secrets that they were hiding from you maybe there were some things that you weren't privy to in terms of their status or their situation like i said now there's this reminiscing uh wishing you know singing coulda shoulda wouldas uh we have three piece singing uh, um, what is that called? Um, what is that called? Picture your body. And what stuck out to me is three piece. So I heard three, you know, third party. And if you look here, there's three people here. So there could have been a third party scenario that was going on. Someone could have been very callous, you know, could have been very brazen with how they discussed the situation. Maybe they were lying. Maybe they were not um, as remorseful as you expected. Whatever the case may be, it's like they definitely um, have said things that they now regret. And so much so that they like they cut their own head off. You know the saying, someone cut their nose off to spite their face. Well, this person has cut their whole head off to spite their body. <laughs> so it's like, you know, remember we had panties playing. So someone wasn't thinking um, someone was thinking with the wrong head and it could have landed them in a situation, uh, with this three piece, you know, uh, picture your body. So someone definitely could have been dealing with an incubus succubus type of energy. Someone could have been under someone's spell. Like I said, someone could have had someone doing domination spells, love spells, voodoo, juju, hoodoo, or whatever. And now there's just like, they can't get you out of, you know, their head. They can't stop thinking of you. Um, but let's tap in. Let's see. Why is this moon cycles here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? I'm going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, spirit. So what we have here is we have the knave of pentacles. So this is someone now that wants to make some sort of offer. This is someone now that wants to, you know, they want to bring some sort of, um, you know, harmony to the situation. They want to ground the situation. I see a pyramid behind this person and pyramids really represent like the mind, the body, the soul. It's a, it's the Trinity. It's a very, uh, um, solid connection. So this is almost like someone wanting to rebuild this connection. Uh, we also have the six of swords. So I do feel like there was, you know, someone who moved away. This could have been you. Someone feels like you've definitely, you know, kind of moved away, created a sacred space. And they know that in order to, you know, even dr capture your attention, um, they have to make an offer. You know, there has to be something tangible. There has to be something real. Um, you know, they have to be intentional uh, because look how they, who they're approaching. This is the queen of swords. So they see you as the queen of swords. They see you as someone who's uh, definitely wiser. You're not going to take Take too kindly to anyone insulting your intelligence and you've also proven to cut people places and things off in your past that's why this person is prepared to make an offer um you know i feel like they're also wanting to apologize and then we have this four of pentacles you see how he's just kind of holding on to this book you know and that book could have been the book of shadows you know, that book could also be like, you know, perhaps maybe they're reading scripture, the book of David. Remember, we had um, Dave East and the book of David is literally um, those are scriptures in the Bible, which is basic instructions before leaving earth. But if you look at his mouth, his mouth is sewed shut. So this shows me that this is someone that's been holding on to you. They haven't expressed everything that they want to say to you, but this is absolutely someone who could be under some sort of spell where they cannot communicate or express or emote. There is a chalice here on the table, but there's also two demons that are like watching this person like religiously. And, and, and this is what I feel this person is under um, the influence of. There's some secret 
energy entity that is um, influencing this person in some way. Um, I feel this person, look how like much weight they've lost. So if you, if your mouth is so shut, you can't eat, you can't drink. I'm hearing that song by R. Kelly. I can't eat, babe. I can't drink, babe, without you in my life. So it's like this person can't eat. They can't drink. They, it's like they have no appetite. It's like they, they, they've literally, like they're at a loss for words. It's like they have so much that they want to say. Maybe this person is holding like a photo album. Maybe this person is like written in their diary, you know, their feelings, their most intimate thoughts. And they just, they want to express these things, but it's like they're holding back. And it's like they're not holding back because of their own doing. I feel it's because they have someone who has been manipulating their energy, you know, almost trying to block this connection overall but with that protection i feel like not only are you protected this union could very well be protected as well and we have isley brothers groove with you so this definitely is someone who um you know feels this connection feels this groove feels this you know this real um synergy with you chemistry with you and there goes that hangman so how they feel about you is they're absolutely now observing you, as I said, from a completely different vantage point. I feel this person has, they feel foolish because they've taken you for granted or they feel like they've made a very grievous error, um, you know, in playing games. Uh, I feel like they, they bumped into a witch or they bump, bumped into some sort of warlock that has them on lockdown. Um, Whoever they're dealing with is doing a lot of spell work on them. But this is now someone who could be like, like really uh, tapping into, like I said, their uh, Bible. Maybe they're reading scripture. Maybe just by watching you from a distance, they're seeing you, you know, kind of heal yourself. And they could be taking those steps. They could be taking notes. And they can also be kind of mimicking you in some regard. And it's kind of slowly but surely like breaking you know the yoke that they could be under but we have here this this hangman um you can see on the table there's like prescription drugs alcohol so this person definitely could have been under the influence of that devil uh that was tempting them through sex drugs whatever lust uh you know whatever those vices are and now they're being forced spirit is forcing them in this position to observe the whole picture from a different perspective. So why is Astara Incubation Beltan, um, Fertility Chalice here, fulfillment for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. And we see the seven of um, stat, what is that? The seven of what? The seven of wands. So this is how they see you. They see you as someone very guarded, very protected. They see you as a light. You know, you see how he's holding up this light. This is almost like when you think of uh, Superman, and he's holding that kryptonite, you know, that's what, you know, that kryptonite is like, um, you know, that's like, um, well, the kryptonite is, is, um, almost, it's like it, it threatens Superman's powers. So I feel like that's kind of like the equivalent, like whatever you're holding up, the light threatens, you know, this dark, these dark entities, dark energies. Um, there's a lot of demons, you know, this light also provides you the illumination you need to see what's around you, who is around you. Um, so this is how they see you. They see you as someone who's very protected of your energy, someone who has learned to really um, establish boundaries with people. Um, you don't just let anybody in. Uh, we have the king of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So this is what someone is prepared to offer you because they see your worth. This is someone that definitely wants to build, nurture, cultivate um, someone who, you know, definitely wants to be like your rock. They went from the knave, you know, of pentacles to now, you know, coming in as this, you know, king of pentacles. This could even be your energy because this is what's hidden is there's some sort of, uh, you know, financial stability and security. Perhaps if you all are, you know, into the craft, maybe you are healers, maybe you have, you know, a certain platform where you're helping to heal others. It's going to be very lucrative for you. Um, but there's definitely a sense of you, you know, being very protective of your energy, um, loving yourself very much. So in harmony, in balance, 
Um, and this is how they feel is they want to come in. Uh, perhaps they want to break down your defenses. Uh, you know, they may want to, you know, get in your good graces is what I'm feeling more. So, uh, let me get one more card for how they feel about our beloved Scorpios. Let me get one more card to clarify. See that? Oh, wow. The 10 of swords. So this is what you have done. You've kind of broken some sort of yoke some sort of spell like if you were in um toxic relationships friendships family dynamics connections it's like something got really out of control but it was really for the better so it's almost like they see that you've been through a lot of you know disappointment betrayals um deception by people that you trusted um and this monster you see this two-headed monster it's like this represents, you know, the, the lies and the trickery that you uh, could have had to really, um, you know, heal from. That's what this uh, incubation is all about. You know, after growing through some sort of, um, you know, atrocity like this, it's like you had to really take that time uh, to really heal, take that time to really, you know, um, you know, just reestablish you know, your sense of security, your sense of stability. Uh, but there's definitely this sense of now you being wiser because uh, that Ten of Swords reduces to one. So it's like now this gives you the ability to cut yourself free from, you know, the people, places and things that no longer serve you to see your way clear, to see your way out of toxic relationships or circumstances or even work dynamics and to love yourself first and foremost. And when you do that, you come back into harmony with yourself. Um, and so that's what this Beltane is about as well, but there's definitely a desire to communicate. I do feel someone wants to express something to you. Uh, we have the five of wands here. So this five of wands, we're about to pull a card for the staff, homeland foundation and witch healer. So there is a desire, you know, someone could be manifesting you. I feel like someone's trying to summon you. This looks very much like someone invoking an energy, you know, and there's another person here. Uh, maybe this is that energy that I was picking up of someone who could be, you know, having someone doing spells on someone you're attracting to you or coming into alignment with. And this is also, you know, showing up in your reading uh, because there is some form of manipulation of energy here. Um, but let's tap in. Let's see what we got. So we have D'Angelo send it on. So someone's definitely sending some sort of negative energy or manipulating energy. And I feel like your angels and guides are really blocking it. I feel because you are here seen as this witch, the healer, this is, I feel is your energy. I definitely get a sense that you're returning whatever negativity back to sender, which is very powerful. And so we have the four of wands. So look at that. That's the card of twin flame, soulmate, cosmic companion. So there is a sacred bond and union. And you can see what it took, all it took to get to this place, this solid foundation. It's like, look at this. It's almost like a maze to get up to this sanctuary, to get up to this castle, you know, and it's just showing this is what not only have you experienced and have had to go through, grow through to get there, but it's also like what your person has been journeying through as well. So I feel like it hasn't been an easy feat to get to this place. And look what flew out. We got the queen of cups and you see that first eye on her, um, on her, um, um, throne. So this is what spirit is telling you, trust your intuition, use discernment, you know, use discernment when it comes to people, when it comes to, you know, even people entering into your life, but you're very mindful of who you give your chalice to. You see how she's holding her chalice. She's not just giving it up. She's, she's let, literally, this is what self-love looks like. You know, she's standing very, very tall in that, um, in her, um, on her throne. She's not slumped over. She's not looking sad. She's very much in her power, you know? And that's, that's because you've healed, you know, that's because you have healed from whatever, um, you have been enduring in your former relationships. We also have the, uh, four of, uh, chalices here. So there is an element of someone who could be like, kind of like wishing on a star, missing you, realizing you're the one that got away. You can see that tower there yet again, off in the distance. So it's like, there is this sen you know, this sentiment that someone realizes maybe they've made a mistake. This is what's hidden. They could be daydreaming of you, reminiscing on past, um, you know, past times. This is someone that is at a distance, you know, someone who could be even 
trying to plan some sort of trip or plan a visit to come see you, to spark some sort of new beginning, to have some sort of fresh start. Uh, we also have the world. So this is another card which speaks to you growing. You know, you, you've definitely completed a cycle. You've definitely come to a place where you have, you know, graduated. You know, this, this shows that you have, you know, overcome some very uh, tumultuous circumstances in your life and persevered. Uh, but this also shows your maturation, your growth, you um, really reaching that level of self-mastery. Uh, this also speaks to, you know, you also um, obtaining, you know, a deeper, more profound understanding of life, of yourself, how to navigate it, of relationships, love ships, family. Um, it's like you've learned all of those lessons. Um, this also speaks to travel, you know, as again, because we got homeland foundation and then we have the world. The world is the last card of the major arcana. So this definitely shows that, as I said, you know, every great healer has to first heal themselves. So you've been on this voyage, on this journey, and you have graduated. Absolutely. And we have this four of swords. So while you are healing and growing, I do feel someone is watching you from a distance. And now they are kind of growing through the same experiences that you've grown from. Um, there's definitely this element to... Uh, you know, recovery, you know, someone recovering, someone recuperating, someone healing. So we have the autumn card, uh, the outcome, and there goes the strength card. And look who flew right back out, the empress. I love it. And we also have um, the sun. So there goes the sun, da, 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 da. It's all right. That's beautiful. So the sun is here. You have the magi. I spoke of the magi someone manifesting. So just be mindful because um, someone could definitely be, I, I don't know, I get obsession, but I also get a sense of like, you know, someone um, realizing that you have a very sacred bond, connection, union with someone and perhaps trying to manipulate someone's energy. But with this West card, someone sees you as all of this. They see you as the sun. They see you as the empress, the emperor, if you're masculine. They see you as someone who's very strong, someone in their power. This is what makes you attractive. Um, this is also what threatens another person uh, to want to do magical spells, to want to block, you know, a sacred union. This is what, you know, the reason why. I just saw 5555 five, 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 and that 5555 five, five, five reduces to 20. So this is whoever this is that's trying to manipulate your energy. They will be judged. Um, you know, because like we saw this, this is a protected energy. Your energy is protected. Whomever you're attracting to you is someone that is meant to be in your life. So if someone is manipulating your energy or someone else's energy from being able to come in or go out, whatever the case, it's like, they're going to be judged. I definitely get a sense of someone having a wake up call, but they do see you as the sun. They see you as strong. They see this vitality, this strength, this beauty, this joy, this happiness, this peace, this appreciation. You know, they see you as someone that brings happiness even in their life. There's also the sense of you reaching that level of self-mastery, being a goddess, being a god, being someone wise, being someone very powerful. You are creative. You know, you're the divinity of a divine feminine or even masculine is creation. And that could be something you're tapping into. And we have the strength card. So you've definitely, you know, you faced your fears. I definitely feel like there's the sense of like facing your fears, whatever you've endured. Like it doesn't get any worse than this. The Ten of Swords, that is really like the most painful death you could ever face. But you come out of it wiser. You come out of it stronger. And you're fearless now, you know, you are fearless. But this is a beautiful reading. Whomever or whatever is trying to like manipulate your energy, trust and believe you are protected from that. Um, like I said, continue to, you know, take your spiritual baths, continue to say your Psalms, play your, your protective music at night whilst you rest, definitely cover up your mirrors because we saw that mirror magic. Um, and just make sure you anoint yourself, you know, wear your protective jewelry, your amulets, um, you know, call on your angels, ask them to protect you, to guide you, um, do things, you know, at a frequency to break any type of hexes, yokes, and spells. 
um, like I said, spiritual baths. Take them three days, you know, uh, back to back. You could take a lemon and you could cleanse yourself with a lemon on a Monday. Um, you know, just kind of circle it around your head 11 times and just ask your angels and your guides, um, you know, to just release whatever negativity, whatever toxicity, whatever evil eye um, that may be, you know, um, disrupting your energy or bringing in uh, negative influences. Repeat the same thing um, over over your heart, you know, pull it from your heart, pull it from your knees, pull it from your feet. Um, and, and, you know, even from, you know, the, the crown of your head, do it 11 times and from your heart chakra, do it 11 times. Um, your first die, you could do it as well. Uh, but just take that, that lemon and just kind of, you don't have to rub it on you, just circle it around you, circle it in those spaces. And then, um, you know, take that, that lemon and throw it as far away from your house and then follow it up with a spiritual bath. You know, um, you can make your own Florida water. It, you know, it takes roses. You could take some fresh roses. Um, you could take some lemon peels, some orange peels. Um, you could take some herbs, some fresh herbs. Um, and you bring those things to a simmer, you know, you simmer that, you let it cool down. Um, and then you add like your, uh, you could, cause that makes your rose water. Um, but there's just so many different, you know, uh, ways that you can create, um, or make your own, uh, ingredients. I always feel it's, 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 um, better to make your own than to purchase them because that's your intention that you're putting into it. Um, maybe, like I said, I promised y'all before that I was going to show you how to do it. And I just made a fresh batch too, <laughs> a fresh batch of my own Florida water. But, um, yeah, there's just different things. Definitely smudge regularly. Definitely make sure to smudge, get rid of old things. Just don't hoard, you know, uh, clean your home, clean. Cleaning is very essential, but this is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe, y'all. Peace, love, and light, beloved. Don't forget, forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe. This is a reciprocal uh, relationship, so please show the love. Definitely, let's get the channel back to where it needs to be. Ashe, peace, love, and light.